Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Ray Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United yeah, States. Gave him, a, yeah, <laughs> one, it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Walter weight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to go. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big punch lands. Ooh, Ooh head kick lands, he's hurt. Right hook to the body. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. DC. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. And everything landed with so much power. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's oh. the Dude, that looks a little wobbly on his feet. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Burns head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Masvidal gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Back to his feet. Game Greg gets caught by that. 
Back straight punches. Defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. Certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Wow, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Dorino gets back up here, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Landed that. Oh! so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, let's rewrite the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, one second of the second round. Playing the winner by knockout, Gilbert Durinio Burr. 